After a brutal couple of weeks for the former president's media company on the stock market, Trump Media announced today they're jumping into streaming. That didn't help at all. Shares of Truth Social's embattled parent company dropped more than 14 percent today. Its second consecutive day of double-digit losses. It's now plummeted more than 70 percent from its all-time high just last month, a plunge President Biden noted on the campaign trail earlier today. You know, I have to say, if Trump's stock in the true social, his, his company, drops any lower, he might do better under my tax plan than his. Boy, did that get a laugh. Joining me now, Pulitzer Prize-winning investigative journalist David K. Johnston. He's covered Donald Trump for more than 30 years. Years. All right. So why is the stock dropping so quickly? Because this company only had four million dollars of revenue and it lost fifty-eight million dollars. And Donald has announced he plans to sell millions of additional shares to raise capital. It's called watering the stock. It's like when a bar puts water in the gin bottle. So who benefits? I mean, can Donald Trump come out of this with a heck of a lot more money and oh, investors get S over? Can he come out well? Uh, he can't sell his shares. What he can do is pledge them at, for a loan. So let's say he gets 50% of their value and uh, the stock eventually plummets to zero, which it will in all likelihood. Uh, his bank shorts the shares that they can cover from him. When the stock falls, they will get all the money back. And if they loan him 50% of their value, they double their money minus their costs. And Donald, the loan that he got, it's paid off when the deal is closed. So the only people who are going to lose here are people like Marjorie Taylor Greene, who just showed their support for Donald, bought the stock, and are holding on. All right. So there was this gentleman uh, who was written about in, in the Washington Post um, who put, I think, something like $25,000 um, in, into the stock and is watching it plummet, but he's sticking with it. I mean, what is it about Donald Trump, the person who has always touted himself as this big businessman, but who has also been bankrupt several times? Um, what is it about him um, that Donald Donald is the greatest con artist in the history of the world? He he persuades people to things that aren't true and they shouldn't believe are true. And, and just a little point: Donald personally has never filed bankruptcy. Right. Four times his casino, casino company, company filed. They pushed him out the door. They filed bankruptcy twice more and closed down. But everything that Donald Trump touches as a business eventually fails. He is not a businessman. He is a cash extractor. And his name has been used. I know people buy the name and put it on, yeah. on their buildings. Um, so running for president, of course, is not cheap. Uh, Trump is facing all of these civil penalties in two separate civil trials uh, if the appeals don't go his way. I mean, this is a huge amount of money that he will have to pay. Uh, and now he's got all these other trials, criminal trials, that are coming up, one is which has already started with jury selection. Um, you know Trump so well because you've covered him for 30 years. Is this the hardest time this man has ever gone through? Up to this point, but it's going to get much worse. Uh, Donald is not a strong internal person. If he sees he's going to go to jail, even if it's for a couple of days because he can't conduct himself in court, he will have a tough time, a very tough time. Wow. David K. Johnston, I know you're a great author. You're a Pulitzer Prize winner. I'm thank you. It's just nice just to thank sit you. next to you. That's great. Thank you so much. I appreciate thank it. You.